Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing. Next up in our Hardy Fly Rod review series is the all new Ultralight. This rod replaces the very, very popular Zephyrus in the Hardy lineup, and we're gonna tell you how it casts right now. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we've got great reviews on all the new Hardy, Fenwick, and Gray's rods coming right up, and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Starting from the bottom, like we always do, you'll notice that this ultralight has gotten a nice cosmetic upgrade over the Zephyrus. They've got a single uplocking reel seat, but it's got a real cool carbon spacer on one side and a burled wood spacer on the other. I think overall it's a really neat concept and it adds a little bit of aesthetic quality to the rod that I enjoy. Functionally though, it's gonna be pretty much the same as virtually every other nine foot five weight on the market. That's followed up with a pretty standard reverse half wells grip, decent cork, like we've seen from Hardy in the past. Again, nothing new here. And that leads us to this new Cintrix NSX blank. And this is again, the next generation of the Cintrix technology. I don't really know what that means, but this rod is great and I guess that's what makes it great. But overall, this is kind of a more progressive looking rod than that old Zephyrus. They've got this carbon on the label that's unpainted and it's also unpainted in between the ferrules. And you'll also notice this kind of olive color, not quite as bold as say the Orvis Helios 3, but not as old fashioned as some of the older Hardy rods. Overall, I really like the look and feel of it. Of course, Hardy gives us alignment dots. And this is the first rod, at least as far as I'm aware, to use Seracoil guides in freshwater. Of course, we've seen them on the Scott sector for salt, but we were a little disappointed that the Scott centric didn't feature these super ultralight guides. Then we've got single foot titanium guides going all the rest of the rod. But the story isn't in just how this rod looks, it's how it performs. We're going to show you that coming right up. Starting at our first trout distance of 30 feet, you can tell right away how extremely light the new ultralight aptly named is. It definitely feels lighter than the old Zephyrus and I gotta say in terms of nine foot five weights, it's gotta be one of the lightest in the all around category. Super, super lightweight. And it's just a tad quick for really, really short. If you step back just a couple of feet, it's actually perfect when paired with an MPX line. But at 30 feet, I didn't find it to be quite as nice to cast as you know the more moderate action rods, which is exactly what you'd expect. Move out to 45 feet, the story is totally different. This is just an absolute pleasure to cast. Super, super accurate, yet subtle and delicate enough, even with that MPX line, to cast small dry flies. Really, it's got an extremely wide range of applications, and it's gonna be a very easy to use rod. Back at our last distance of 60 feet, the new ultralight has plenty of power. It's just a great casting rod. You won't run out of power at any distance that you're gonna reasonably cast to a trout. And that's a really good thing. Hi guys, I wanted to pop in and let you know that these videos are fully funded by your purchases at our shop. If you find this video helpful and you wanna keep them coming, consider making your next gear purchase at tridentflyfishing.com. Now onto our Poseidon score. Starting with accuracy, this rod is highly accurate across the distances. Maybe loses just a half a point at the 30 foot distance because it's just a little bit too quick. Overall, 9.5 out of 10. In terms of components, this is really, really top notch and even beats the Scott Centric with these Seracoil guides. It gets a 10 out of 10. Next up is the grip. This is pretty standard. It's got to be identical to what we've seen from Hardy for years and years and probably almost identical to every other reverse half wells out there. It is totally fine and it gets an 8 out of 10. 
In terms of looks, again, like all of our other Hardy rods, it does have a little bit of that overseas feel and the cork isn't quite as nice as some of the really higher end manufacturers. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. In terms of swing weight, this comes in at 61 gram meters squared, which is really, really light for this type of rod. It's even lighter than the Scott Centric and the Orvis Helios 3D, but not quite as light as the Helios 3F. Overall, really fantastic, nine out of 10. In terms of value, Hardy has upped the price this year and at $795, this rod is gonna have a lot of competitors, but it is a super, super high performing rod and it gets a nine out of 10. Last but not least is the cool factor. And while this rod is gonna perform really well, it's probably not gonna impress all your friends on the water. And like the Zane Pro, it earns a seven and a half out of 10 which leaves us with a total Poseidon score of 70.5, which is way, way up there and almost the highest Poseidon score we've given. All in all, this is a really great rod. And if you're looking for that all around nine foot five weight, this really should be on your short list. Great job, Hardy. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.